Hey guys, so I'm doing a real quick look today. Um, it looks like this. It's kind of just to show how I like to use the new um, Maybelline Color Tattoo Shadows. So um, I've already primed this eye with Urban Decay Primer Potion and then I'm going to use the Pomegranate Punk Color Tattoo Shadow. It's the, it's kind of like a rusty color. It's really pretty. Um, to use these, I like using a concealer brush just because it's it gets messy with your when you use your fingers. This one is just it's a little one from Sonia Kashik. This was a collection, you know, they always have the different collections at Target. But I just take some of that and I'm going to put that color all over the lid. I put it about that far up. I didn't go all the way up to the brow bone cuz I don't want it that crazy. Um and these dry pretty quick but not so quick that you can't go in and like smudge out the corners if you need to so that is a good plus with this product um, all right after that the color I'm using over where I put the pomegranate color is it's a deluxe shadow from Urban Decay it's called heat and it's just a reddish again kind of rusty color so I'm just gonna take an elf eyeshadow brush and put that all over where I put the pomegranate color so I also took it up a little higher too just for blending purposes with the next color now I'm gonna use one of the L'Oreal infallible eyeshadows and this one is, what is the name of this one? Sultry Smoke. It's the matte gray one that I was talking about in the haul video for that. I apologize for my voice, I'm still sick. <clears throat> but I'm just using, again this is a Sonia Kashuk brush, it's just a fluffy brush. This is my favorite brush to do this with. I just take it in there and go around in circles. It's kind of, it's a weird textured product so it's kind of hard to get a lot on the brush but you don't need that much to do this anyway I'm gonna just blend this mostly on the outer corner but into the crease too to help smoke it out I'm gonna take oh first that's what that looks like that gray color is just I love it it makes doing a smoky eye so much simpler I'm going to take another L'Oreal Infallible Shadow, and this one is Eternal Black. It's the black with tons of silver glitter in it. And this is going to go on the outer corner where I put it here. I did it like on the outer third of the eye in that outer V. And this is an e.l.f. contour brush, just a little rounded brush. So I'm going to, again, swirl it in there. That I find that's the easiest way to get product on it. And just place it where I want it. Once I have it placed where I want it, I'm going to go in again with that fluffy brush and just blend it out. So we have something like that. And then for a highlight, I just kind of cleaned off the fluffy brush I've been using. And I'm going to use Inglot's Matte 351. This is pretty much my favorite color to use as a highlight. And just under the brow bone, under the brow I mean, and blend out all the other that. Um, I am also going to take, I'm going to go back into the pomegranate punk color and take that, uh, this is another Sonia Kashuk brush from that same collection. It's a little, uh, it's not really a pencil brush because it's flat, it's like a little shader brush and I'm just going to use this underneath my lower lash line on my lower lash line. I don't know why I always say underneath. Just did a really thin line underneath for a little bit of color. Um, I have to wear this to work so I'm not going to put anything on my waterline because I just hate having waterline color on all day. But actually I hate wearing color on my lower lash line to work because it always ends up like bleeding into the fine creases and everything this stuff does not do that like this 
The color tattoo shadows have amazed me in every sense of the word because they are so awesome for a drugstore product. Um, I haven't been able to find anything that won't bleed into my like all underneath my eye and that's why I never wear color on my lower lash line like throughout on a day-to-day -day basis. So um, yes, I really, really love the color tattoo shadows. Anyway, uh, I just have to do liner on the upper lash line, which is going to be the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in uh, Trooper. And that is pretty much it for the eyes. Um, oh, mascara, I don't know why I always forget it. Uh, Tarte Delights Camera Lashes. Now, that is it for the eyes. Um, I just have a clear gloss on my lips, I'm not going to go too crazy. Because I'm sick and I have a thing about not wanting to use all my lip products and stuff when I'm sick. Um, so, for I'm actually going to do blush just for like a hint of color. I don't know if you can really even tell that I have it on over here, but it's one of the Maybelline Dream Bouncy blushes in Orchid Hush. It's a really light pink, and I'm not a big blush, blush person. I don't like a lot of color on my cheeks, so this stuff is not that pigmented, and it's perfect for me, actually. It's kind of like a... It feels like a cream when you touch it, but it dries to like a powder-like finish, so... And this one's kind of, it's a little bit shimmery. I don't, it's just a really pretty color, so I don't know if you can even really tell, but in like... I can see it in the mirror, so hopefully you can tell, but um, that's it for this tutorial. I'm going to uh, take some pictures and stick them in. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you soon.